I see that all over my Twitter. I even do it sometimes. Yeah. So I'll just go. So we're going to have you pick your favorite gift from the ones we just showed you and have you recreate it. The year is almost coming to an end, so we're going to look back at some of the most popular gifts of 2017. Oh, that's exciting. Gifts, okay. I'm ready. I gift a couple times. <laughs> I'm a gift giver. Are they gifts or gifts? No one knows. I'm team GIF. I say GIF. I understand the guy who made them says GIF, but you're wrong. I'm more of an emoji guy. Poop emoji for everything. Sisters getting married, poop emoji. These gifts were chosen from lists compiled by both Giphy and Tenor based on the data they've collected from their users, so all these are gifts, though some are memes. Perfect. Okay. okay. I yes. am so excited. Love... This is exactly what I need Please. right now. Let's just look at some gifts, man. Let's do it. Oh, yes. I, uh, yes. I remember the guy. I do this in just real life. Anytime someone says something, I go, I feel like this gift gets used to me a lot because I feel like someone is always being like, Tana, like, think a little more. I saw one, he was doing this, and it's like, you can't get fired if you don't have a job. <laughs> I was like, dang, that's, uh, I've been there. So this comes from the web series Hood Documentary. Yeah, I knew that one. I'm probably not gonna know the rest of them. So people have called it things like the think about it gift. Tanner actually ranks this as the number one meme of the year. I can see that. Cause like everyone can use it. Here's a check for nothing cause no one gets paid for a gift. What is it about this that makes it stand out more than others? It's relatable. Well, everything that goes viral is relatable. That one can be used in so many scenarios. So can't fight with your folks at Christmas if you don't go to Christmas dinner. Of course. Every single girl in the world loves this one. Ah, I love this one. Get with the ah. I never saw that movie, but I did see that gif. Fun fact from my favorite movie of all time. Get him to the Greek, my favorite movie. This one's so basic. Like I would never use this. My mom would like use that. They actually call that one the Jonah Hill Yay. The Jonah Hill Yay. Everybody, that's a new dance. Everybody do the Jonah Hill Yay. Tanner ranked this as the third most used GIF of the year. Yep. That doesn't actually surprise me. Was this a GIF that you used all this year to express excitement, or do you have another go-to excitement GIF? I use, I go for the emojis. I'm less of a GIF guy and more of an emoji guy. Uh, my go-to excitement GIF is always gonna be Kermit the Frog flailing, <laughs> like, yeah! yeah! I've never used it. Yeah. I think it's so cheesy. I don't know, I like GIFs that are a little more smart. <laughs> Salt Bay, the, the man, the myth, the legend. Oh, oh. Salt Bay. I never saw the GIF format of this one. I only saw the meme format. This was so viral. viral. So many different variations of it. Like people would Photoshop faces as yeah, the salt. That's what, just like, I think that's what made it viral. I actually was gonna try to be slutty salt bay for Halloween and then it didn't really work out. How do you even use that as a meme or as a, as a GIF? There's no circumstance that like, I would ever send this to my friends. So that was Turkish Chef Nusret, or more commonly known online as Salt Bay. Salt Bay. We covered Salt Bay on our Adults React show way back in January. This particular meme spawned several other versions of it and became one of the first big memes of 2017. You might say that it seasoned the internet. What does it take for a meme to truly catch on like this? I feel like just the sass with it. Like, like that's not, like, you could just, like, you know, put a little salt, but he was just like, mm. It's just the like confidence in it. You've never seen somebody be confident with sprinkling salt, because you were just like, oh, I need my salt on this. When you are so genuinely extra, like yeah. people just love it. Cause like, that's not how ordinary people cut steak or put salt on. Everyone uses it, but they like make edits of it and just add on to it, you know? And that's what makes it more viral. That's so cute. I have never seen that. Oh, that is so cute. I feel like parents on Facebook would like really use that. What? Is this? That's not shareable in my opinion. People are really out here just sending this to each other. That was actually called Love No. According to Giphy, it's actually the number one most viewed GIF on the website this year with over 340 million views. Seriously? I am becoming a gnome because I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take that and run with it. I feel like a lot of people just left their computer on and let it, let it replay because that is not worth 340 million views. Do you find this GIF deserving of the title most viewed GIF of the year? I mean, it's cute. Someone made that, <laughs> so I gotta give it respect. I've seen other ways of showing love with gift forms. Maybe not that many. It, it, it's cute. And when couples are like trying to be sappy on Twitter and Facebook, oh, I love you, and then they send that. So I get that. A lot of hard work goes into it, so it's well deserved. And it crocheted a little heart. Yeah, 100% deserves most viewed. For sure. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm not gonna sit and watch Salt Bay for like no, three I hours. No, I, I like those ones where I'm like, oh. That's really funny. That's 
really funny. For a guy that knows nothing about what he's doing, he's the guy's doing his best. I believe he drew it. When you go into the politics world on the internet, like there's a lot, there's a big audience. There were so many variations of this gif. It was beautiful. Imager took a hold and Reddit took a hold of this and went, I drew a thing and they put everything on there. So that was Trump Draws Meme. It was a big year for Donald Trump in terms of memes and gifts. Yeah, uh, that's one way of looking at it. But then again, it's not just Trump. Presidents and public figures in general usually get the meme treatment with former President Obama also getting a fair share made of him as well. Oh, what true. What do you think about the virality of Trump now that he's president? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy for him to do anything and that goes viral. He's a big bullseye. It's funny to look at these memes and just like giggle. No matter whose side you're on, that's funny. It's a different angle for sure than like past presidents. It's definitely more yeah. mean spirited. And the people and like, who are creating this obviously have their thoughts about yeah. him. Yeah, Obama had a lot of memes because people actually love Obama. You know, like you could just, I would send a cute gif of like Obama to someone if I was gonna send a gif. But like Trump, like, people hate Trump. People love to make fun of Trump. He really, really fing sucks. Pre President Trump, it was like more, hey, look at this guy. He's crazy. Here's a meme. Here's a gif. Whereas now it's like, look what he did. Here's a meme. Here's a gif. <laughs> Haters gonna hate? Oh my god, yes! He's got the walk down, jeez. This wasn't from yep. this year. This video's from the 1940s. Are you sure? If you showed me that with like 100 other ones, that would not make my top 10. Like, it's clever, but top 10? For like social media influencers, like, that's a big one. Because we have, we, we all have a lot of haters. Well, this gif is usually called Haters Gonna Hate and has been viewed this year over 134 million times, according to Giphy. <laughs> What? I've never seen that. Why do you think that works so well? Those are actually my favorite types of gifts are the ones where they take something old and put something current on top of it. I feel like it's everyone's spirit animal. They just wish they were like that, you know? Like walking into any room, like that confident. Everybody has some hater somewhere, so it's just that much more relatable. If you're doing well, if you're doing bad, they're just gonna hate. You know, troller's gonna troll. Mm -hmm. Salt Bay's gonna salt. Ah! Stranger Things, oh my god, obsessed. Oh, that's funny. I've never oh seen this. It's the old forward reverse boomerang gif. Oh, it just skyrocketed as soon as Stranger Things 2 came out. I remember that from the trailer. <laughs> it, was like, it was like all these creepy and scary things happening in the upside down, and then all of a sudden, hey, body time. Your screen is not broken. I was just trying to create a gif for you. You're welcome. So obviously that was a gif made from the Netflix series Stranger Things. I've seen both seasons. A great show. So that show has been huge in social media. Is a big reason why with things like gifts and memes. Do you think that a big reason why a show might get so popular as it has is because of kind of its ability to be a part of meme culture, internet culture in general? Oh yeah, I think so. I think sometimes even memes from shows make that show popular. Because I didn't know about Stranger Things until I saw a ton of memes about it. People use gifts on Twitter all the time. People are talking about Stranger Things on Twitter all the time. That one. That one makes perfect sense. If you aren't really a meme on the internet, like, you're kind of seen as irrelevant. You've got Wendy's, for example. You know what I mean? Like, everyone was like, Wendy's? Uh, now people go to Wendy's just because they killed the Twitter game. I don't think it has anything to do with it. If you're already a fan of the show, <clears throat> you like the GIF, but no one's gonna watch a GIF and be like, oh, I gotta watch that show. Thank you. <laughs> Every time someone was surprised in any form at all, this gift came into play. I love this gift. This is my favorite one by far. That is my favorite meme. One of my favorite memes. I've definitely used that meme. I see this one constantly. I see that all over my Twitter. I even do it sometimes. Yeah. I'll just go. So that was the blinking guy or confused guy, which Tenna ranked as the number one most shared new GIF of 2017, while Giphy named this the number two most viewed on their platform with over 226 million views. <sighs> That is a lot of views. A lot of people say this might be the GIF of the year. Would you agree? I would fully agree, and I think it is very deserving of number one. Yes, and I'll tell you why. That I've exclusively seen as a GIF, which means that uh, that the viewership of, on GIF or whatever, or tenor, was it? That's just there. That doesn't even include all the millions of times I've seen it on Twitter and stuff. Definitely, because you can put it for anything. You, you really can use can. it for anything. When someone doesn't make sense, when there's a weird picture, when someone posts something awesome, you... So finally, we've got a great post department here at FBE. So we're gonna have you pick your favorite gift from the ones we just showed you and have you recreate it. Yes, yes, here we go. So which one do you want to recreate? We're, we're doing going to the... do the confused me man. man. I gotta do the, the think about it. I'm gonna do the think about it. All right, here we go.
I'm gonna do the Jonah one. You can make it this, so you can write something on a piece of paper. Yeah. They can do that? I want to draw Trump as a doggy. Woof woof, bitch. I tried, I drew a thing. Thank you guys for watching this episode of YouTubers React. Subscribe to all the creators in this video and the links are right below in the description. What was your favorite GIF of 2017? Make sure you tweet it to all of us. Hey guys, Ethan here from FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode of YouTubers React. A big thanks to all the creators who came in and shot with us today. Be sure to check them out down below. And happy holidays and happy new year from all of us here at FBE.